Welcome to the Software Carpentry screencast on databases. This screencast is an introduction to databases. In this screencast, we'll try to give you a sense of what databases are and what you can do with them. A database is a way to store and manipulate information that is arranged as tables. Each table has columns, also known as fields, which describe the data, and rows, also known as records, which contain the data. The table you see here is a hypothetical log of all of the work done on experiments in a research lab, broken down by project and scientist. Each record in the table describes an experiment. There is a field for the login ID of the scientist running the experiment, the project, the experiment name, the hours spent on the experiment, and the date the experiment was run. In a spreadsheet, you insert formulas or new sheets to analyze your data. In a database, you give commands, also known as queries. The database does the analysis that your query specifies and returns the results in a tabular form. The queries you give are written in a simple English-like language called SQL which stands for Structured Query Language. SQL is a vast language. It provides all sorts of ways of mixing and remixing your data. In this lecture, we'll assume you already have a database, and so we'll only be discussing queries that extract or analyze data. Broadly speaking, there are six basic types of operations you can do with databases. Each operation extracts or transforms data from a previous operation to form a pipeline or flow of data that ends with the results you get back. In this screencast, we're going to give you a preview of the database operations in order to give you a flavor of what databases can do. In the screencasts following this one, we'll show you all of this in much more detail, along with showing you how to accomplish common analysis tasks. So let's look at our first operation. Let's begin with the data we saw in our first slide. The select operation simply extracts various fields from the table or from the results of another query. The append operation adds new calculated fields to the results, like rounding the values in another column. The sort operation orders the results by values in a field. So here's an illustration of a query that orders the results by the values in the hours column. The filter operation chooses records to include based on true or false conditions. So in this illustration, we have a query that filters for records that have hours values of 5 or greater. The aggregate operation summarizes groups of records into new records. So here we see the hours being totaled for each project. Suppose we had a person table that shows more details on each of the scientists. The join operation joins two or more tables together by combining rows based on true or false conditions. So we could use this operation to return results from the experiment table with the full names of the corresponding scientists from the person table. A database is the right tool for managing complex and structured data that is spread over many different tables. Databases are also designed to work on very large data sets, much larger than you could comfortably manage with a spreadsheet. Queries allow for great flexibility in how you're able to analyze your data. This makes a database a good choice if you need to explore or mix and remix your data in many different ways. Unlike spreadsheets, databases do not typically have built-in charting and visualization tools but it's always possible to export the results of a query or interface with the database to use your data in another tool. So summing up, a database is a set of tables of data on which you can explore and manipulate using queries. We've seen six basic types of operations that you can do in the data. Databases are the right tool for managing large amounts of data or data that is complex.